Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of videos and blogs that will hopefully illustrate the amazing diversity of life on the island of Madagascar. I thought we'd start off with an iconic species, and one of the most iconic species is the ring-tailed lemur. You'll probably be familiar with its appearance. This is the lemur species most frequently kept within zoos, and was recently popularized by the character King Julian in the DreamWorks animated film Madagascar. Without a doubt, it's an instantly recognizable species. Dr. Alison Jolie, an expert in lemur biology, described the ring-tailed lemur as a Paris-styled raccoon, and I have found no better description. But what is a lemur? Well, it's a good question, and one we'll do our best to answer swiftly. Lemurs are primates, along with monkeys, apes, and your good self. Unless you're a hyper-intelligent dog, in which case I apologize for such xenophobia. It is generally agreed that primates are distinguished by the petrosal bulla, a bony structure protecting the inner ear, which is possessed by no other mammal of adult age. However, unless you're prone to smashing open skulls, such a distinguishing feature is probably not that much use. So other shared features of primates to look out for are binocular vision and hands and feet capable of grasping objects, as you can see in the photo here. Lemurs evolved in continental Africa, becoming distinct from other primates approximately 60 million years ago. The island of Madagascar itself, via the process of continental drift, had already separated from surrounding land masses 20 million years earlier. It is therefore believed that lemurs made it to Madagascar during a rafting event, a bunch of animals on a large floating mat of vegetation that drifted across the Mozambique Channel, taking them to their new home. From a lemur point of view, arriving at this new promised land was fortunate, because by 33 million years ago, monkeys had evolved on the continent of Africa. These primates version 2.0 proceeded to outcompete the lemurs, rendering them extinct everywhere except the isolated Madagascar. Fast forward through 33 million years of evolution, and Great Grandpa Lemur's descendants have diversified into the numerous species that we see today. And that brings us nicely back to the ring-tailed lemur, Lima cata, roughly translating from Latin as ghost cat. Ring-tailed lemurs only exist in the south of Madagascar, and I encountered them in Isola National Park. While ring-tailed lemurs are the most terrestrial of all lemur species, they adeptly demonstrated their athletic ability, leaping from branch to branch in search of leaves. Another major component of their diet is fruit, and while we saw one lemur happily munching on the remains of a mango, I have a sneaky suspicion that this particular prize had been plucked from a bin in a nearby campsite. Thirty-three million years after competition led to their ancestors' extinction on continental Africa, the lemurs of today's Madagascar face a new threat, also from a fellow primate. This time, it's humans. Human-caused deforestation and overgrazing are reducing the habitat available for the lemurs. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature classifies this species as being near-threatened. In Isola National Park, a stark example of this very near-threat was demonstrated by a large man eating his lunch with a significantly powerful rifle slung over his back. The man was a park ranger. The gun was to enforce his authority and ability to repel poachers, for the ring-tailed lemur also faces the threat of being hunted for food. I didn't feel particularly reassured by the man's presence. Guns are rarely possessed without the intention to use them, and while shots fired might save a particular lemur on a particular day, it is unlikely to address the causes of such problems, or foster much goodwill.
It's almost a cliché now to say the flora and fauna of Madagascar faces an uncertain future, but that doesn't make it any less true. People need to eat, they need to survive, and wildlife needs to be conserved. There are no easy answers. But in future installments, hopefully, we'll examine some of the more difficult ones. If you think this video is ending on a somber note, then here's a picture of a mouse lemur to cheer you up. If it doesn't work, you have no soul. Thank you for watching, and tune into future installments as we explore what other species of lemurs dwell on Madagascar, and take a look at their extremely unusual predator, the Fusa. Until next time, goodbye.